Welcome, welcome one and all to my very first uh, showcase. I'm going to be showcasing the Skylanders Trap Team Trap Masters today. Uh, I'm going to start off by showing you guys the Earth, uh, or no, actually, excuse me, Life Trap. It's made out of Traptanium. You can see the insignia there. Plain and simple, but really cool. Uh, when you have the game actually active and you capture a villain and you put them in here, you put them in this slot here, and there's a speaker right here that you can't really see from that angle, but you can see it here, the speaker right here. The uh, villains will talk to you whenever you uh, do certain things in game. So now I'm going to show you the life uh, trap master. His name is Bushwhack. Really cool dude. See his acorn helmet right there? I like the details on this guy a lot. Uh, all the weapons are crystal or tractanium made of the same stuff as the uh, traps themselves. And this is the actual tractanium portal that only works with the uh, trap team game. I'm going to twirl him about a little bit here so you can get some, some of the details there. This is again bushwhack all right moving on and I'm in KBG studios today with Aaron the supreme leader next to me right now giving me pointers and whatnot next we're gonna move on to the tech elemental trap it's really cool shape there I'm not really sure what they're trying to convey there it almost looks like a face Almost looks like, yeah, kind of like a, maybe like gear, not a gear, but like a fan blade or something like that. Maybe. And we're going to put that in the trap tanium slot. And here's actually one of my favorite trap masters, the tech trap master jawbreaker. Um, you can probably tell why they call him jawbreaker because of those massive fists he's got there. His fists are made out of trap tanium. I like the, the gears here. And I like the, the little podiums they stand them on they show their element on there as well I, I like the details on those as well but here's a good look at jawbreaker I like that little insignia on the back there all right moving forward one of my other favorites uh, the new elements they introduced into this game are dark and light here's the dark trap it's like a spider really cool this one's a little bit more detailed than the other ones it's amazing the technology they they put in these figs I wish I had these when I was a kid but here is nightmare the detail on this one is really nice I like the iridescence in the skin tones you can see there she's got a Traptanium flamberge that she uses. Also, she's got a horn in her hand as part of her other attacks that she uses. I like the color of her hair too. Nice centaur I like chick. I like that color combo there. I love that kind of pearlescence that's going on there. Oh, yeah. Definitely. There is Nightmare. And it's spelled like a night, not the day or night. Yeah. Her counterpart is the light trap master and here is the light trap i just got this recently off of ebay um it's kind of sparkly got some sparkles going on there i don't know if you can really tell but here oh, let me put that in there here is night light he's a winged dude his his helmet looks a little weird to me makes me look like Look like a parrot, but it, I guess it's a. It's supposed to be a guy because you can see his his mouth here a little bit. But it kind of looks like a. It reminds me of a superhero because he's you know got the the emblem on the chest. But I like his uh, Traptanium scimitar he has here. This is the official weapon type that he uses, and his wings are highly detailed. Got some shimmer going on there. So I'm going to let him sit right there, twirl him about. Alright, next I'm going to 
show this one. This is a special edition trap. Uh, there is no figure for this, but it's Chaos himself. You can actually trap Chaos and have him fight alongside you in the game. I really think this is a cool feature there. And if any of you have played any of the Skylander games, you may recognize Chaos's voice. He is also the voice actor for Zim for from Invader Zim. All right, the next one we're going to show is the magic trap. It's got a skull, some horns. Really cool looking. I like the the hue of the purple they decided to use. And the trap master of magic that I have is Enigma. This has got to be one of my top favorites because of how they encompass him turning invisible because that's one of his abilities in the game. And I like his, his uh, in game, this, this eyeball here actually blinks. But just look at that detail. Look at this detail of how he goes invisible. I really, really like that a lot. I like his uh, cloak, the top of it. Man. And the wraps he has. Oh, dropped him. But the, the wraps that he has right here, they're really detailed. I like those a lot. All right. The next one is the Fire Trap Master, and here is the trap for it. It's a little, uh, kind of a goofy face. I think his tongue, yeah, his tongue sticking out. <laughs> uh, here is Wildfire. I like this one a lot because I'm a Leo, so this is like one of the most awesome ways that you can portray a Leo, a golden lion that can throw fireballs. I like his Traptanium shield, it's pretty awesome, it's got a lion face on it. And look at the golden hues there. And then the awesome fireball in his hand. I think that's really, really cool. Alright, we're gonna move on to the other side of that elemental ladder there. Here's the water trap. I think it's cool. Looks like a totem. What would be on a totem head? You can see the water emblem on there. I'm going to stick that in its slot. And here is Snapshot. He's an archer. It's really cool. He has unlimited ammo. That's actually, this is the arrow right here that he shoots. He's got some pretty cool abilities. He's like a crocodile guy, except with horns. So I guess he's a dragon crocodile hybrid. I like the the blue down here on on the podium that he stands on. Looks really awesome. And then he's got some pauldrons on, and some pretty cool looking gloves. I like the scales. The detail of the scales there. I'll set them down. Let you take a gander. Okay. Next, we're gonna show off the uh, air trap. It is a the same shape as the fire one. Um, I don't know why they decided to make two of the same shape, but different element. I don't know if it's in it that way. Okay. Here is Gusto. Kind of reminds me of, um, I think it's, yeah, Japanese um, style details here on the chest and I think some Chinese old folk folklore art has uh, kind of the same type of things here. He's got a boomerang here, a giant one, made of traptanium, of course. He's got kind of, he gives me off like a like a gin vibe or a genie vibe, especially with his little pointed boots here, which I really like that. And then he's on a cloud. Makes sense, because he's an air type, right? There's 
there's Gusto. There's some really cool details on his gauntlets here uh, that you can see. Really dig that. And he's got a swirl for a belly button. <laughs> okay. We're going to move forward to another one of my favorites. Uh, this is the Undead uh, Trap. It's the same shape as they have on the Magic one as well. Skull and horns. Really cool color. And here is Crypt King. I really like this guy. They got a whole Egyptian vibe going on here. He's got a great sword as his weapon. And the undead, you can see the skull there. I really like that. I like the gold trimming on the armor. Uh, he uses swords. His sword, uh, he can actually um, manipulate it and make it go through the air, make it float and attack. And he unleashes a swarm of locusts from his mask. He's actually one of the first Skylander trap masters I got back in the day. But he's really, really cool. Alright. Last, but certainly not least, I just got this guy recently. Um, we have the Earth Trap. I think it's really cool. Kind of looks like a an urn or some kind of special cup. And here we have Wallop. It's a packs of Wallop, right? With those hammers, those Traptanium hammers. Uh, one thing I don't like about this fig is these are supposed to be equal like this, but with the, I guess, the plastic they decided to use to make those, uh, I guess with temperature that warps it, I guess. But other than that, really cool fig. For the longest time, I was looking him up online, and I thought he was like an insect, but because of these threw me off, these little pointers here. But he's actually like a bear type of guy. But, uh... He's like a barbarian looking kind of guy. Ooh, I didn't even notice these before. I like the gemstones on the earth podium. That looks really cool. They shimmer. Almost kind of... Almost look real, like real gemstones. That's really cool. But that is Wallop. And thank you all so much for watching. Um, make sure you like comment subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet um, I will be doing more and more of these uh, if you guys take a shining to them I'm willing to do another video on these guys featuring them in game and showing off the uh, villains that I have captured as well so again thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video